Uh, and thank, thank you, members. members. I'd like to just take a few minutes to say a few words, if I may. Thank you, members, for re-electing me as president of our city council, uh, and I promise not to let you down. And thank you, each of you, for being a part of a council that has proven it can rise to the occasion when faced with the most challenging times. 2020 is coming to an end, and we have gone through so much together. I look back at this past year and I'm humbled when I think about the challenges we faced and how we've responded. You'll remember back in March, everything had come to a stop. People were out of work, hospitals were overwhelmed, and, and other governments had frozen. But not us. Colleagues, the last time we met in person was on March 17. But we knew then that we could not shut down. And within 10 days, this council was back at, at conducting the people's business. While other levels of government failed, we met every single time. The council responded with urgency because Angelinos needed us to. This council had the courage to lead. We immediately took action to protect workers who were being displaced. We protected workers who are risking their lives on the front lines as essential workers those in grocery stores, drug stores, or food delivery, delivery. We took action on evictions to help renters stay in their homes. And I know each and every one of you took immediate action to meet the needs of your district. From meal deliveries and food drives to checking in on seniors and the most vulnerable. In such a difficult time, we all came together to serve. When you first elected me as your city council president in January, we made a commitment that this council would enact a family's first agenda. And that's exactly what we did. When the federal government finally came through, we let our actions do all the talking. We provided the largest rent relief package in the United States. We moved over $100 million to help struggling tenants pay their rents and help mom and pop landlords pay for their mortgage. We created alternative learning centers so that kids can have a safe place to learn where their parents went to work. And we supported childcare so working moms wouldn't have to choose between taking care of their babies and their careers. We created a $50 million utility grant to keep people from falling behind on their bills and we kept our commitment to addressing homelessness. We, made, we maintained our focus on the most vulnerable, seized 18 properties, and are securing over 7,000 beds to help people get off the streets. But that's not all we did. Together, we created programs to support local restaurants and help small businesses. Local businesses who are torn between conflicting restrictions and the efforts to provide jobs for our hardest working Angelinos. We were, <clears throat> we were careful to avoid the mistakes of 2008 when we bailed out Wall Street rather than Main Street. Colleagues, we have done so much more and we've done it with real leadership. I'm reminded of something I heard the other day. COVID is a storm that has swept this country but we were all, we were, we, while we were, I'm sorry, but while we are all in the same storm, we have to acknowledge that we're not all in the same boat. Some people are blessed with yachts and some have canoes, but too many don't have anything and they're simply drowning. And that is something that we cannot and must not forget. We're reminded of those inequalities during the summer months of the protests and demonstrations around policing. But this council chose not to shy away from those conversations. Instead, we took the time to come together, we listened and we're responding. Because the one thing that is clear to everybody is that public safety is a fundamental concern for every parent, every child and every neighbor. And how we deliver public service and public safety will be an ongoing conversation for all of us. Because Angelinos need more than slogans. Angelinos need more than a social media post. For all the crap that women put up with, 
and for all the crap that women before me have gone through, it's going to take a lot more than calling me a bitch to keep me from helping people. So to all the community-based organizations who have done the Lord's work over the years, to those who believe in truly organic movements, let 2021 be the year that we remember who we are as activists. Call out mis misogyny. Call out when people with entitlement try to be your savior. And call out when your movement and lifetime struggles have taken over by the privilege of those with their own guilt are trying to destroy the system that has benefited them at your expense. A real people's movement is about demanding respect, demanding racial justice, demanding environmental justice, and demanding social justice. And remember that real allies aren't here to fix people's problems for them. They're here to empower them to do it for themselves. True allyship is about respecting, supporting, and standing behind the people who are fighting for themselves, not in front of them. We close out this year with, a, with this fiscal crisis upon us. And for all of our efforts to adjust and respond, for all of our sacrifices that we are asking our workers and our residents to do, we must demand that the federal government act now to save lives and provide meaningful relief to our residents. Because budget crises are not about numbers on a spreadsheet. It's about the millions of families that are trying to stay alive. For all the policies and resources that we have committed to date, despite all of our best efforts, Angelinos will literally be left out on the cold if the federal government does not step in to help us. Colleagues, let's be honest with ourselves. We need to do so much more. Every day we are confronted with the painful truth that so many of our fellow Angelinos are hurting. COVID has brought us so much loss. Families have lost their businesses and their jobs, and they have lost all hope. They are starving, waiting for up to two hours in modern day bread lines for food that might last them a week. Their businesses have been closed yet again, and the relief that they need can only come from the federal government that has abandoned them. COVID has brought us desperation, despair, and death. Before the end of this year, we're looking at the real possibility of 10,000 deaths in LA County. Think about that. 10,000 families who will be without a mom, a father, or a sibling who would go into these holidays with an empty seat at the dinner table. Well, this holiday season is like any other. We still have things that we have to be grateful for. We will go into this holiday season thinking about those that are struggling and thinking about all the work that we have to continue to do. Colleagues, thank you again for your support and for sticking together through this crisis. And as you know, the inequities in our city are most visible more than ever. But so is our hope and the potential for our city. The months ahead must set the stage for the kind of rebirth that only our city can imagine. I know that together we will accomplish that for our residents. So please be safe and may everyone's families be healthy. May God bless you and my, may God bless our city of angels. Thank you.